In this video, we will talk about the risks of running Windows on a micro SD card. And then, if you still want to do it, I will show you how to minimize write operations on Windows to prolong your micro SD card's life. First, let's discuss why I wanted to install Windows on a micro SD card in the first place. I thought it was a cheap and easy way to get Windows on my Steam Deck without touching the space reserved for Steam OS. Sadly, Windows does not perform well on a micro SD, and I don't see enough YouTube videos warning about the issues. Quality micro SD cards are not as fast as SSDs. But low quality micro SD cards perform worse than spinning hard disk drives. If you want to use Windows primarily for heavy productivity work, installing it on a micro SD card is a bad idea. Windows will write to the disk every few seconds, even when idle. Micro SD cards are made up of sectors, and each has a limited number of writes before it would fail. Micro SDs generally don't have built-in wear protection. It cannot monitor its own health, nor distribute activity evenly across all of the sectors. This means it's entirely possible that all of the writes on your microSD will repeatedly target the same sector. Your microSD could brick after 4 or 5 months of continuous runtime. Fortunately, there are ways to make the micro SD card last longer. The first way is to use Steam OS as often as possible, and to use Windows as sparingly as possible. Another way is to buy high endurance micro SD cards that are rated for a high number of write cycles. Be careful though, because some micro SD companies label their card as endurance only as a marketing tactic, and their cards don't actually have a high write cycle count. Another way is to remove any startup app that you aren't using often. This reduces the chance that these apps will write in the background and will even save your battery. The final way to preserve your micro SD card is to disable specific Windows services to reduce the number of random writes. I will show you four ways to do so. You could disable the search indexing, system restore, swapping, and hibernation. Search index allows you to perform searches faster. Without indexing, Windows might have to look through every single file in the micro SD card to see if it matches your search. If you disable search index, you will save disk space and gain a tiny amount of performance. However, if you do a general search, you might as well take a shower while you wait for your computer to figure out where your file is. If you want your searches to be somewhat productive, leave the search index on. Otherwise, you can turn it off to reduce your writes. To turn it off, just follow the instructions on screen. You can turn off System Restore if you're okay with not being able to restore your operating system and program. You will even gain some hard drive space. To turn off System Recovery, Open your settings, then select Recovery, Configure System Restore, and then follow the instructions on screen. Swapping, also called Paging File, will use your hard drive space to extend your RAM capacity. If you disable swapping, you will gain hard drive space and sometimes even improve your performance until you run out of RAM, at which point Windows will start to force close your programs and some programs will crash. If you're okay with that, you can disable swapping by going to System Restore, then go to the Advanced tab, and in the top under Virtual Memory, select Change, uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size, Select No Paging File, click Set, click OK, then reboot your machine. 
Finally, you could disable hibernation if you want. Hibernation allows your Steam Deck to boot where you left off with a faster load time than if you turn it off from an off state. It also does not drain battery like sleep mode, making it ideal for leaving your Steam Deck unplugged for a day or more. However, it causes huge amount of disk write because the computer has to copy from the RAM to the hard drive every time you hibernate. To disable hibernation, open the command line as administrator and enter the following text on screen. I will release more videos of Windows performance, benchmarks, and game behavior with Windows running on a micro SD. I will leave the affiliate link for my card in the description below. I hope this video helped you better decide what to do with your Steam Deck. See you next video and happy gaming!